On behalf of the Hampton Classic, it is a pleasure, and this year I think I have to say it is a double pleasure to welcome you to our media luncheon here on opening day of the 45th annual Hampton Classic Horse Show. You know, as we were leading up to the horse show, we were asking ourselves, can we say 45th annual horse show? But we realized that every single one of us would just as soon forget that last year ever happened, so 45th annual it is. And while the world has changed quite a bit since the last time we were here, one thing that has not changed is the Hampton Classic. We still feature world-class show jumping with some of the best horses and riders in the world, including five-time Olympian McLean Ward, who just came back from winning a silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics, and other great riders at every level in every division. We'll go over some of the highlights in just a few moments, but first, it is a pleasure for me to introduce our leader here at the Hampton Classic, the one who makes it happen, our Executive Director, Shanette Cohen. Well, thanks, Marty, and thank you to all of you for being here. So, we are thrilled to be back. Um, it's been a little bit of a reunion of sorts today. It's been fun seeing faces that we haven't seen in person for some time. Um, and we, we know it's going to be a wonderful week. It's been a little challenging the week leading up to the show. I think most of you are aware we had to actually in tear everything down last weekend and then rebuild it back up. And we're happy that that happened last weekend and not this weekend. It's a beautiful day here at the Hampton Classic. We are so appreciative of the press and your role in making sure that people know about us. So thank you for all that you do, and we will look forward to continue to work with, working with you, and thank you so much. Thank you, Shanette. And uh, so we will be getting to our opening ceremonies shortly in the Grand Prix ring, and Shanette will be speaking, but we wanted to give you all a preview. The plan for today is at 1.30 we will begin our opening ceremonies and Shanette will be in the ring to welcome everybody here. And we'll hear from Bob Schaliner, the president of Stony Brook Southampton Hospital, our primary beneficiary here at the Hampton Classic. And then shortly thereafter, probably about 1.35, 1.40ish, we have a very special presentation and any horse person on Long Island knows Emily Aspinall. Uh, who has been on the board of directors of the Hampton Classic since day one, back in 1976. One of the true legends on the Long Island equestrian scene, and we will be honoring her in the ring. Hampton Classic Horse Show is pleased to recognize this year's Long Island Sportsmanship Award winner. The Long Island Sportsmanship Award, now in its 14th year, is presented annually to Long Island horse person, who has demonstrated excellence in sportsmanship. Join us in the field for this presentation is our Hampton Classic Executive Director, join us back, Jeanette Barth Cohen, and Hampton Classic President, Mr. Dennis Suskine. This year's honoree is Emily Aspinall, who has been a part of the Long Island equestrian community for several decades. She is the sister of Ann Aspinall, the first recipient of this prestigious award. Emily ran the Topping Riding Club together with her sister, and she is former owner of Brennan's Bit and Bridle, one of our proud sponsors here for our opening day. Emily has served as a member of the Hampton Classic Board of Directors since the horse show began in 1976, and she has been vice president of the show for the past 30 years. Three years ago, Emily took on the additional responsibility of being the Hampton Classic Horse Show's treasurer. The two areas where Emily has had her greatest impact are with the Hampton Classics Awards and with the evolution of the classic super popular souvenir items. And don't forget to stop by the boutique area and check out those great souvenir items before they're all gone. But beyond that, Emily has been involved in virtually every aspect of the horse show. And it is in no way an overstatement to say that the Hampton Classic would not be what it is today without the contributions of Emily Aspinall. And so, it is with great pride that we ask you to please join us and congratulate Emily as the Hampton Classic presents this year's Long Island Sportsmanship Award along with the Hampton Classic tote bag to one of our most beloved members of our Hampton Classic family. Let's salute Emily Aspinall.
Great job, Emily, over all those years. Certainly, I've appreciated it myself through all the years we worked together on the Hunter side with the awards. And it's been a great partnership over many, many years. And then we will have a parade of rescue horses, some of which will be available for adoption tomorrow here at the Hampton Classic on Animal Welfare and Adoption Day. And then at 2 o'clock, our big class of the day, our open jumper challenge with some of our top stars, such as McLean Ward and Georgina Blueberg and Mario and Lucy Delaurier, who of course finished 1-2 in our big Hampton Classic Grand Prix two years ago when we were last here. So we have a busy day. Highlights throughout the week, uh, we mentioned that tomorrow is Animal Welfare and Adoption Day. We have nine rescues here with dogs and cats that will be available for adoption. And every year when I go to that, I say, oh, good, I'm glad my daughter's not here or I'd be bringing 50 dogs home with me. Oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. <laughs> So we have that, that goes from, uh, I have to cheat and look, 11 to two, and then from 12 to one in Hunter Ring two, we have our horse adoption. The Equus Foundation puts that together with help from Georgina Bloomberg, and there will be some horses available for adoption there. Here at the Hampton Classic Adoption Day, dog and cat rescues will be featured in our kids area from 11 to two, and adoptable horses will be showcased from noon until one in Hunter Ring number two. It's just beyond our VIP tent heading toward the Hunter area up, up the property. Now the equine portion of Adoption Day is presented by the Equus Foundation. The Equus Foundation is the only national charity that is 100% focused on horse welfare and protection and honoring and supporting the horse-human bond. Join us in the ring is Equus Foundation Vice President Valerie Angeli, organizer of the equine portion of Adoption Day. Equus stars and VIP horse lovers, including renowned animal advocate and media personality Jill Rappaport. Also in the ring are officials and volunteers from Rising Star Horse Rescue of Wilton, Connecticut, and of course, adoptable horses Violet and Xander, mini horses Daphne and Velma, and mini donkeys Turtle and Bunny. Rising Star Horse Rescue is a guardian charity of the Equus Foundation and provides new beginnings and second chances for horses of all types and sizes like you see here in the ring today. Please come and meet these wonderful horses and others tomorrow at our adoption day and learn about their rescue and backstory. Did you know that the average horse will have several homes in their lifetime? Their safety and well-being will depend on opportunities for a loving new home and potentially their next career. So if you are looking for a horse to add to your barn and your life, please consider giving an adoptable horse a home and a safe landing because all horses deserve respect, compassion, love, and dignity throughout their lives. Now also joining us, the Equus Foundation in the ring is an adoptable, stunning, and talented off-the-track thoroughbred of a famous horse who will also be available for adoption tomorrow. We're pleased to have with us Mr. October, a gorgeous chestnut gelding thoroughbred who is the son of none other than the famous racehorse Preakness and Kentucky Derby winner, Smarty Jones. Yes, Mr. October, or Toby around the barn as he is known, raced like his super famous dad and now at seven years old is enjoying his second career as a flashy hunter and jumper. He has unlimited potential as being presented today by the Retired Racehorse Project and written by Erica Rosner. As you can see, adoptable horses come in all types, shapes, sizes and abilities and these adoptable horses would like to meet you tomorrow here at the hampton classic adoption day with adoptable horses presented by the equus foundation and featuring horses of rising star horse rescue the reti retired racehorse project and much more very special thanks to georgina bloomberg for sponsoring adoption day and giving dogs cats and horses in need a place to shine and the opportunity to find their forever home Thank you for being an animal lover and protector. Please support animal welfare and rescue and adoption for the love of all animals. We are pleased to let you know the equine adoption events tomorrow will also include complimentary snacks and beverages, courtesy of the Golden Pear, Wolfer Estate Vineyard, and Essential Water. Job well done, so make sure you come out here tomorrow and be here on Adoption Day. This time's again about noon. 11 to 2 for the adoptable horses sh showcased at Hunter Ring number 2 from noon until 1 o'clock. Be a great day here, and maybe you'll take home your next 
new adventure. The championship finals of the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities presented by Dime Bank. And that is always one of the highlights of the week. I know, I can tell you honestly, I cry every year watching it. It's really just so impressive watching that. Then throughout the week, we will have our open jumper competition, our juniors, our amateurs, our hunters, our equitation, all the rings going morning, afternoon. We start 8 o'clock each morning, and um, the competition will feature some of the biggest stars we have, some of the best horses and riders from across the country as we build up to next Sunday's grand finale, the $300,000 Hampton Classic Grand Prix. Quick note, we should also mention that News 12 Long Island Kids Day has been moved to Thursday this year. Traditionally in the past, it's been on Saturday, but this year we will be holding it on Thursday. All kids under 12 are admitted free. They get a free pony ride. We have games. We have entertainment. We have gifts for them, so we hope uh, everyone will bring the kids out. And just quickly mention, admission throughout the week is $20 a car load. Pack as many people as you can into the car, bring them out, $20 to get.